Hi, welcome to this week's Early Start video and this week our area of focus is going to be emotions. So in a baby's first year of its life uh, it looks towards its parents for sensing if something is safe or not. Um, so and then they pick up on what it is that you like, what you dislike um, and a good example of this might be if you um, are dropping them off at family or friends um, or at a childcare setting and you are sad to be dropping them off, they will pick up on that sadness and they'll attach sadness to that scenario. So generally as parents we're trying to attach excitement, happiness to as many things as possible. It's not always possible um, but this week we're going to look at emotions and what we can be doing to um, teach our children about different emotions when they're young. We want children to be able to talk about their feelings when they're older um, and recognise um, when it's important. Um, so if we can help them to recognise emotions from as early as possible that gives them the best start. So already discussed the look, say, sing, play strategy um, and we're going to incorporate that within this week's activity. So uh, babies need to have their voices heard, it helps them to gain self-confidence. So it's going to be very much an interaction um, in this activity. It helps to lift their self-esteem if they feel recognised, it begins to give them a place within the family setting. Um, I know it's really common as adults, we feel like we need to fill the silence, um, but in this instance, we need to, in every instance, we need to give time and we may feel that it's taking a while for a response, but actually in a child's brain, there's lots of steps to go through. So we need to leave quite a good amount of time for them to respond. Um, so this week's activity, building on learning emotions, we're going to adapt a really familiar song, if you're happy and you know it, and we're going to change each verse for different emotion. So I have my friend Ted here. My children are both teenagers now, off at secondary school, so he's going to be my helper whenever I need it in the weekly videos. So I'm going to sing to Ted, obviously Ted isn't going to sing back to me and depending on the age of your child they may or may not be able to join in verbally but certainly they should be able to keep eye contact and laugh, mimic your emotion on your face as we go through the song. So off we go. If you're happy and you know it give a big smile If you're happy and you know it give a big smile if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, give a big smile If you're surprised and you know it, look like this If you're surprised and you know it, look like this If you're surprised and you know it and you really want to show it If you're surprised and you know it, look like this if you're grumpy and you know it, show me a frown. If you're grumpy and you know it, show me a frown. If you're grumpy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're grumpy and you know it, give a big frown. If you're sad and you know it, shed a tear. If you're sad and you know it, shed a tear. If you're sad and you know it and you really want to show it If you're sad and you know it, shed a tear Another great idea that you might want to use for slightly older children is to have a mirror so that you can look at your expressions together so they can see your expression. Let them use a mirror to see their own face pulling different expressions for different emotions and have fun doing this. You might come up with lots of different emotions, different faces. It doesn't have to be the same as I've used in my demonstration. Just have fun and in the next Zoom meeting, bring with you how it went uh, and share your ideas of what worked well, what didn't work so well, any new ideas that you might have developed, new tunes that you might have developed a song to uh, help express emotions with different facial expressions and also you might introduce um, sign language so for instance with the tear 
you could use this sign to show a tear coming down the face. Just generally have fun and I will see you to talk all about it in the next Zoom meeting. Bye.